All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Um, we're finally getting the gameplay in. It's not gonna be no stream this time. Um, like I said, the first game that I wanted to do is called Atomic Heart. I'm about to get into it. I hope y'all, you know, like this gameplay. Like I said, this is kind of gonna be like a child one. I don't know if I like this game or not. I haven't seen any gameplay of it at all. I just saw little clips about it on um, what was it on YouTube. And I was like, okay, this might be kind of interesting to try out a game that I've never even heard of. So it's kind of a newer release. So I'm going to try this out, see how I like it. If I like this first gameplay that I do of it, we'll continue it. If not, it'll just be that first gameplay. So I'm not faking the funk over here. If that shit boring, I'm moving on. So we'll see. And um, yeah, just don't forget to do that fun stuff. That like, comment, subscribe, share if you care, which I know you do because you're here. And let's get right to the video. I really love this place. Good vibes. The Chevrolet Complex was built from the ground up to be the ideal comfortable workplace. Can it, Glove? I've been here before. Will we make it for the speech? Oh, we've got plenty of time. We can even go on rides afterwards. It's so futuristic. <laughs> so I wonder what's, like, what's going to be like my main thing. Chelemay City floats on the Icarus platform, a feat of modern science and technology. This okay, city yeah, in the clouds was, like was the built in 1950. Oh, wow. Leading scientists from all the Wait, other Soviet republics live here, including the German SSR. You need to have an exceptionally brilliant and dedicated mind to work here. Well, girl, I got it. Would you care for some more soda, comrade? You want to oh. Would you? Sure, thanks. Damn, I didn't even get the bid. This is pretty neat. Looks like another bot got stuck in a tree. <laughs> that always cracks me up. Uh, still working on the robot's navigation system. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I noticed. Okay, I'm liking this. this wow, so what a beautiful day. Wow. All right, come on, pull me over. I'm ready to move around. Do my own thing. What's up with your Vobas bots, Andre? They're going haywire. What the hell did you do to them? They've been like that all day. Number three is bought. I need uh, these houses painted, but look at what they're doing instead. Give me your control code. I'll set them straight. Hold piggy, sweetie. Oh, thanks, Mum. Uh, the code's 0451. Okay, then. Get to so work. So that was me, like, speaking to them? Move it. Move it! Oh, you did it! Oh, thanks a million. And enjoy the celebration. Damn, I wish you would watch where you was going. Good morning, my boy. How are you? Did you sleep well? Good morning, Dr. Sechenov. I slept fine. Waiting orders. Wait, How do you like the new too? glove? Better than the old one. It's growing on me. I'd expect nothing less. I designed the device myself. Be careful with it now. It's more important than you might think. Yes, Dr. Sechenov. I'll keep it safe. Report to the lab to complete your integration with the glove. I've got a full schedule today, so Mikhail oh, Stockhausen will like, get you up to speed. I got like a robot I'll be in touch later. Roger that. Roger that. Jesus, can I, can we please get this, this moving? Like, come on. I feel like I'm supposed to be doing something. You've been ordered to the laboratory, Comrade Major. There's a turbine waiting for you at the airway. Are your orders clear? Crystal, get off my case already. I'm pleased Damn. to hear you don't have any questions, for once. You dickhead. You okay? No, like, seriously, give me out of this. I'll get in charge. Why are we here? Comrades, Icarus platform residents, and facility guests. 
Oh, okay, I'm going down here. Okay. So it looks like it's like futuristic, but it kind of has like an old modern vibe. You got one right here. Get your thought device today. Get connected straight away. Good day, comrade. Come closer. I'm here to help. Would you like a thought device? It's high time you got one. No nah, thanks, I'm just browsing. Right. No thanks, I'm all set. Okay. Let's just get to reach the park, reach the park. Sure. He was over there filling it. Ooh, hold on, let me check. Hold on. Let me make sure there's no... Yeah, let's do that. Absolutely. Okay. I just had to remember. Hold on now. Comrades, residents, and visitors to Chalamet City, Dr. Sechenov's address will be Go around the crowd. Well, I don't like I'm getting now. Everyone here seems so happy and content. Just like in China. You've been to China, Comrade Major? I've been everywhere. I mean, everywhere except for China, I guess. Facility 3826 isn't all that far from our Chinese allies. I like their spirit. And I hear it's nice there. Indeed it is. I'm confused on what I'm supposed to be doing. Oh, girl. Look at it. Such now breathtaking beauty. When I was little, I'd never have dreamed people could soar so high or travel so far. Okay. Major Nachai reporting for duty on Comrade Sechenov's direct you order. Welcome, horrible. Comrade Major. Today is a joyful occasion. The birthday of Collective. Yeah, yeah, many happy returns. Cut to the chase, would you? I've got places to be. Naturally. This is the future of Soviet education. A personal project of Dr. Sechenov's poly education. Gone are the days when Soviet citizens had to spend years studying at educational institutions. From this hey, moment on, working. just inject a special neuropolymer and code with the education you want. A university level natural sciences curriculum, for example, and you'll instantly become an I educated was, member of society. Want to learn Korean or get a doctorate in nuclear physics or learn to play the piano with Collective 2.0? You can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Been there, done that. Skip the foreplay, bot. Excuse me, of course. Your particular case definitely calls for something more efficacious. Nevertheless, you will still need an initial neuropolymer injection. <laughs> oh, what? Comrade Sechenov is expecting you, Agent P3. I've been informed of your imminent arrival. Here, take this capsule. Wait, what am I taking? Oh. Oh, she was all the way over here. Oh, is this the injection she was talking about? Okay. Okay, come on. upgraded your glove with scanner functionality using the neuropolymer as a conduit the sensors in your glove are now directly connected to your neural system especially your eyes polymer retina I'm sorry I'm backing up to activate the scanner out. just make a special gesture please choose an object of interest and extend your arm toward it the palm of your hand should be facing the object contract all the fingers on your hand except for your thumb and index finger extend your thumb and index finger to form a right angle to activate the scanner holy shit bot who designed this thing the spanish inquisition okay tap rb and hold rb 
again to activate the scanner. Okay. Okay, tap. Tap. And hold. Demon, be gone. <laughs> For your information, that's so a highly user-friendly gesture. It was developed by our leading expert in the field of advanced interpretive avant-garde absurdist Dadaism. Whatever that guy's been smoking, sign me up. Didn't you say you were in a hurry just a moment ago? Right. Shut your trap and keep scanning, would you? I'm getting acquainted with the new hardware. You are now capable of seeing hidden objects. This ability could prove very useful in the future. But for now, please continue with your mission. Yeah, please. Come on. You gonna let me out or what are we doing? Comrades! The address by the Director General like the of Facility 3826, Dr. Sechenoff, is about to begin. I'll wrap it tomorrow. Greetings, comrades. I am Dmitry Sechenoff, and this is Facility 3826. Hello, oh, welcome to your future. We find ourselves just one small step away from an amazing evolution. Report in the lobby of that high rise. That's kind of change the ratings as we know it. Are we supposed to like run up there? Like... No, I'm not exaggerating. Just look but see, you see at how our beloved like Soviet Union has been transformed in the last few decades. Japan cars? I'm so glad to see you're taking it easy, Comrade Major. The car is waiting. You must go to Dr. Sechenov's office for the access code. It's been left with one of his motorcars. Yeah, not to leave. I love this place. No matter how many times I come here, it always amazes me. It's just so nice. Our elevator has arrived. Alright, well I'm here. Wait, this is the elevator? And dedicate ourselves to science. On behalf of all at Facility oh, wow, 3826, I present to you the device of the us. future. The neural connector thought. It will allow human beings to be at the center of Collective 2.0, a network for this all mankind nice together. Like, did y'all imagine you know, being able to ride on like this? You got these big ass, big white guys sit down on this truck. Free of all boundaries. Thanks to the thought neural connector, you will control your body with your mind. Like, able to view the city, but it looks Master like it's a lot. Mastering academic like, subjects with breathtaking speed. Yeah. Accessing yeah, to, all human knowledge, and of course combining it with your own individual discoveries. You... We'll no longer need control panels, cumbersome communications equipment, and loudspeakers, documents, electronic notebooks, etc. Thought will replace every single one of them. And so much more. Your potential will be unlimited. All right, let me in. Talk about style. Science is power, I tell you. The boss has a way of looking down on insurmountable obstacles. I really respect that. There are no obstacles science cannot surmount. Other than an electronic glove that never shuts up. Here is your vehicle activation code, Comrade Major. Oh, okay. Got it. The vehicle is waiting downstairs. You should hurry. You don't have much time. We could take the same elevator we took to get up here. Thanks, they Einstein. What would, would I ever do without you? Oh, you can't get through though? Maybe I can go back. Okay, I'm going back. So we went all the way up there just to get a key. Why can't they just get down here. Says what I got? Here? Sorry, I can't meet with you in person, my boy. The reporters have been hounding me all day. So, what do you think of Chalamet? You've built yourself a city of the future, boss. There's nothing else like it in the whole USSR. I built it for all mankind. Not for myself. 
Humanity is on the verge of great discoveries. One day we'll reach the stars. These castles in the sky will be the beginning of our journey to the farthest reaches of the universe. I'm merely helping humanity realize its own greatness. You're a dreamer, so Dr. Like Sechenov. <laughs> Fantasy and science go hand in hand. Most modern inventions were described long ago in science fiction. Flying machines, space travel, even robots. Are you telling me you got your ideas from sci-fi novels? I got them from the dreams of mankind, P3. Man was born to dream, to do great things. Yeah, come on, come on, come on. But unfortunately, there are those who wish to crush those dreams. And that's where men like you come in, Sergei. Men sworn to defend mankind and its destiny. Need me to get rid of somebody, boss? You're very relaxed about it, my boy. I hope it won't come to that. But let's take it one oh, step wait, at a time. Oh, wait. First, you'll need a substantial glove upgrade. Report to the lab. A Tereshkova robot that. will meet you there and take you to the Vavilov complex. Understood? Yes, sir. I'm getting in the car right now. Oh, wait, do I, will I be able to drive? All right, where am I with that? That's one hell of a car. But it's still We all got the same shit. Right? Sure, it's a solid machine. You can't stop progress, though. They're turning out new models now. Damn, what are these ones? I did. Yeah. Got a cheap man. Happy polymerization? Okay. Please secure your seatbelt. We wish you a very pleasant journey. Isn't there supposed to be a radio in here? The entire Soviet Union is ecstatic about the unveiling of Collective 2.0 with yeah, I just came from in every I get city. It. The American government is expressing deepening concern about the skyrocketing unemployment figures following the deliveries of Politics robotic workers from that. the We've got plenty of thought devices. No, no. There won't be a shortage, said People's Deputy Alexander Shalchinov in response to widespread concern in the city of Ozyos. How about some music? <laughs> That's more like it. I see you finally begun your assignment. I mean, I mean, I know and it's been less than an hour. They are good. Jawohl, mein Fjord. What did you just say? I said the signal's on the fritz, but thanks anyway, Herr Stockhausen. Dr. Sechenov already filled me in. Don't you think that may have been a bit too much? Nope. For some reason, your response didn't surprise me at all. Guess I don't have any Someone respect like for brown losers. Tell me, is there anyone you do have respect for? Sure, but respect is earned. Dr. Okay. Sechenov has mine because he saved my life on the operating table. Everybody else needs to earn it. Anyway, why the hell are we riding a jalopy strapped to a damn robot? Were all the jets taken or something? Shit. Riding turbines is an important tradition. It's a way to remember the days when Facility 3826 was brand new, as we used to ride these vehicles to our very first scientific complex. Fair enough. But why is it a tradition to have them pulled by bumblebees? And why do we call them bumblebees when they look more like... flying pigs? Flying pigs? Have you seen flying pigs before? How about flying cows? Yeah, on the condor. Well, I wouldn't be one time some world. genius like you forgot to put up a fence, but those cows only flew in one direction. Straight down. I have a suggestion, Comrade Major. Why don't you worry about your mission, and I'll do the thinking for both of us. Shut the hell up, Glove. Please. I'm trying to listen. To what? Is there anything here you haven't seen yet? I've never been here before. Zip it. What? How come? I don't know, damn it. Now quit bugging me. My apologies. Oh, I really hope this is not, not 
Facility 3826's audio guide. We will soon be arriving at our destination. Estimated time of arrival is 11.47 a.m. Outside temperature, 26 degrees Celsius. There is a slight breeze. You can now observe the Soyuz Granite Bridge spanning Lake Lazur and two of the facility's high-profile test sites, the VDNH and Sahalin. These are connected by magnetic levitation or maglev rail. This technology was pioneered by the Chelemay Design Department and a personal project of Dr. Lebedjansky. You can now observe the operations of an automated plant performing robot assembly and distributing machine parts required by the facility's various complexes. Controlled remotely by a collective 1.0 node, a plant such as this is capable of autonomously managing and fulfilling up to 100 orders per hour. Dr. Sechenov's computational center, the main radio processing unit and control nexus for this network node. We are currently flying over Sunflower Solar Farms, capable of supplying electricity to the entire VDNH, as well as the Friendship of People's Park, nearby settlements, and the Maglev train lines. Maglev train stations connect all of Facility 3826, allowing personnel to travel from one complex to another with comfort and ease. We are, we are, we are, we are now flying past the majestic Call of the Motherland Monument, erected in 1949 to mark the Soviet Union's victory in World War II, and are now entering the grounds of the Babilov Complex, the site where Facility 3826's numerous agricultural miracles took root. You are now observing the Soviet Sickle Monument, designed by sculptors Elena Mukina and Alexander Kibalnikov, and autonomously erected in 1951 by the Collective 1.0 Neural Network with the help of robot builders. Note that this effectively makes it the world's first collaborative artistic effort between man and machine. Our brief guided tour is coming to an end. Facility 3826 is always ready to welcome new specialists from anywhere in the Soviet Union. We are confident that you will be thrilled to live and work in this world of revolutionary breakthroughs and fantastic scientific achievements for the glory of the Communist Party and the Soviet people. The trove is initiating combat maneuvers. Initiating what? For real? Watch out! What am I supposed to do about it? Safety. What the? Please do not unfasten your seatbelt until the vehicle has come to a complete stop. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, buddy. You have reached your destination. What are we doing now? Laboratory A of the Robin Hutchinson Space Run facilities. Have a nice day. Take my hand, Comrade Major. I will escort you to the Babylon Complex. What in the sweaty hell is going on here? Unfortunately, I have no information on this subject. All the robots have been carrying out their normal operations until they suddenly became hostile. What? Oh! What the hell are you doing, lousy bot? Get your rusty metal asses out of here! That was really very rude of them. The elevator. Did I just wheel too bad? Fuck off, bitch! Yeah, no. <laughs> Our ascent is once again continuing normally. A Dropa towing robot will be here shortly to perform magnetic coupling and take us by air to... Son of a bitch, not again! 
Wait, what? Oh, help me, comrade major. No. I'm falling. What the shit? Okay, a time of heart. Okay, thank you. We get it. Come on. Let's let's get let's actually get into something. We just been looking around, walking around. They just been showing me shit. Like, come on, I'm ready to get in. Damn, why they have to do her like this? They blew her shit back. Oh my love. Send me here, set me up or something. Cause I'm not understanding why when I get here, shit ain't acting right. Uh, oh shit, my head's killing me. Uh. So is that his name, P3? Cause I keep seeing it every time he speaks on the uh, subtitles. Wizard, this is P3. Come in. Sergey, are you all right, my boy? I'm okay, boss. Oh, Sir, but nothing here is the Sergei? way it's supposed to be. Whatever's going on clearly started a while ago. Victor Petrov is the reason. He's a traitor who hacked into Collective Central Hub and caused the civilian robots to attack facility employees. Petrov has the access codes for the hub. Your mission is to find him. And bring him to me, alive. Copy that, sir. The target is Viktor Petrov. My mission is to find him Damn. and bring him to you. Damn. Exactly. <laughs> Session off out. That's back up. Hey, Charles, get back up. Wait. Can I learn how to play? Oh, okay, wait, that's how I heal? Okay, okay. Now I hope I get a block mechanic. Details on the target. Victor Petrov is the lead engineer behind Collective 2.0. He was arrested for treason and sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. Got it. I can deal, deal with that. that. Where, Where should, should I start, start looking? looking? Petrov, Petrov is currently somewhere, somewhere in the underground, underground levels of the Vavilov complex. complex. We'll have to find a way inside. Okay, okay let's, let's do it. Oh, this is like a dodge? Hey, bro, I'm, I'm coming. coming. Okay. Oh, try. Watch is, it, is this thing going? Shit! Get, Get away, away from, from me! me. Bro, get up! Oh, go, go fuck yourself! yourself. Thank you. Really? 
What, what are you gawking at? at? Almost, Almost choked, choked to death, death there. Give, Give me a hand. hand. Oh, I, I didn't see that coming. Mm. Thank you. Oh. You, you should, should be more careful. careful. This place is, is a damn mad house. Yeah, yeah, this one. Thanks, Thanks for the help. No sweat, Sonny. So should you be careful? What, what are, are you doing, doing here anyway? anyway? Oh, just, just passing, passing through. through. Who, Who are, are you? Me? Zena. Granny Zena. That's all you need to know. That's all I see. Fine, I get it. So what's, so what's going, going on here? Lots, lots of casualties. I don't know if you noticed, but the robots are attacking people. Anyone, Anyone who couldn't find a place to hide is no. dead meat. I could really use a weapon. Got, Got anything? Did we just have an axe? Of course. Of course. But, but I'm, I'm not giving you shit. shit. Beneath, Beneath us is a complex. If you, you need a weapon, go down, down there. The, the Vavilov complex? That's where I'm headed. Ah. Well, today's, today's your lucky day. day. I'm, I'm heading, heading that way, way too. too. Oh, God. It's basically it's safe. Shit! It's, it's a chilla. Son of a bitch. We've, We've got, got 30, 30 seconds. Move your ass! 30 seconds until what? Uh, Either way. 30, 30 seconds until we're fucked, sonny boy. Really fucked. Oh, my oh, God. Get, Get over here, here beefcake. Now, 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 now. Take, Take this key and turn it clockwise. I said clockwise, idiot. Yeah, like that. I'll hold him off for now. You got a hell of an arsenal there, lady. What are you planning? Here we go. I get one? I've been riding my ass for two days now. Take that. Eat shit and die. Oh, yeah. I can do it. Okay, can I help you? Where'd, Where'd you get, get that thing? thing? No Give it to way! Me. You hang on to that key. I got this. I say, did we have this weapon? Damn, is the granny dead? We, we need to find a way to open this armored door. She, you think? Enough, Enough with the lame, lame advice, will ya? Why, Why don't you tell me more about Petrov? How'd they, they track him down anyway? Petrov's betrayal was discovered by Mikhail Stockhausen. He was, was then arrested by the Argentum unit. So, so how'd he end up here? After the trial, Petrov was sentenced to community service and sent back here as a prisoner. What, they couldn't find anyone else in the whole Soviet Union to do his job? Collective's launch was only a few months away. Replacing the lead engineer would have been foolish. Petrov had to finish what he'd started, and that's what they made him do. What's so special about the guy? Victor Petrov was previously the lead engineer of a secret department within the Academy of Consequences. Dedicated to programming robots for Collective 2.0. Right. Is the greedy demon? Open the door. Cause I didn't. Maybe she got her Bad. First, getting the shotgun first. They usually start you off with like a pistol or something. Safe areas, back rooms. I mean, ooh, not back rooms. Break rooms are the game's safe areas. Each is equipped with a manual save game machine. Okay, so that's how that looks. Okay, 
using my uh, RPG. Data. As you should. Oh, okay. Oh, that's what's up. Reload the X. Okay. Yeah, we don't have no ammo. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe. Okay, I was about to say it should be a mechanic switch to your weapon quicker. Okay. We're gonna do the X for right now. For right now. And the machines rose from Enemies can perform power attacks that knock P3 down if they hit. When an enemy is charging a power attack, Charles will indicate the beat. I mean, the best moment to dodge it. Upon seeing the red highlight, press B to hit dodge. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's what you want to do? I'll give you some advice. I'm kind, kind of busy, busy right now. now. Try to avoid the robots more powerful attacks. They're, They're all powerful. Damn, get up. Attacks performed by a robot during a power surge are especially dangerous, and they knock you down. I just read I won't last long. Yeah, we're gonna take that first, first spot really kicked my ass. ass. The destroyed robots contain a neuropolymer resuscitation drug called Neuromit. Okay, collecting resources and masse. Is that how you say it? If there are a lot of crates in front of you, hold RB in their direction and move from one of the. Uh, Move from one to the other without releasing RB. This will allow you to collect the re all the resources from the crates in one go. Okay. Extract the Neuromed capsule and use it to heal yourself. Give me all, give me all that shit. It wouldn't hurt to collect other resources you find along the way, Major. May I remind you that your gear includes a special Yarov Avalokov backpack for storing items and equipment. It utilizes a quantum singularity for shrink items placed within it, then restores them to their original size upon extraction. Yeah, weird science, huh? It's like we're living in sci-fi times or something. I didn't think that was gonna happen. Okay, so we can do this to all of this shit. Okay. okay, they're saying we gotta go find Victor, so let's go find Victor. Okay, I like this so far. I just did not. That intro was way too damn long. Like, we get it. But I guess the devs just want to show us they work. Sneak up on the robot and perform a stealth attack. I'll use the opportunity to permanently disable it. Okay, okay. Damn. Oh, just keep pressing it? Chopping up all the fans. Yeah, get me out of that. Can we get some shotgun ammo? That is wild that they added that on here. Okay, can't open those. Hey, is that a pair? Is it working? All pairs at facility 3826 are connected to emergency power and are never turned off. This allows employees to remain in constant contact. But I need, like, a password or an access level or something to get into a pair, right? I can provide you with access to any facility device. This, this also applies to the chirpers you will surely encounter while en route to your mission objective. Got it. Okay. Hey, Glove. My name is Charles, Comrade Major. Whatever. Hey, how'd this Petrov guy manage to hack Collective? The traitor wasn't working alone. He was conspiring with several others. Several, huh? 
So where are they? They have already been eliminated. But it will be impossible to get to Petrov without your assistance. That's my I opinion. have to get this block to stop. Damn it, why is everything locked here? Emergency mode was activated as soon as the robots began attacking humans. Something's wrong. Oh shit! Oh, shit. That was supposed to happen, right? That better have been supposed to happen. Come on, get up, soldier. Uh, Great, right. just a little more. You okay? I'm fine. How many fingers? Uh, four. Great, now get up. I need your help. Damn. <laughs> oh, girl, you lost house. Yeah, Who are they? Come on, move on. They brought you here. Put pressure on this wound. Damn. They tried to save you. And who are you? Doctor. You got a name? No time for small talk. God damn. We don't take that long to say your name. Forceps. Forceps, forceps, forceps. I'm on it. Get me them. What's this doing here? What took you so long? You got a neural polymer capsule. You don't need one. Yeah. So <laughs> what's your name, Doc? Larissa, and you ask a lot of questions. You know what? You're on your own. You got this. Where are you okay, going? Like, it's useless. We don't have the equipment. I've got the equipment. Great. Now we're getting How somewhere. did you do that? You ask a lot of questions. Get out! What the Larissa! Fuck? I don't want to die! Why would you get up? Holy shit! Avoid the beam! Oh my god. Back your ass up, bitch. Stop. Stop it a bitch. Come on, what a dance. the shaft Larissa crawled into go? It's hard to say. Now. The ventilation system contains a large number of branching ducts. Fine. I can deal with it later. They are blowing out shit bag. Okay, come on. What are we doing? What's that freaky thing on the door? A lock. Are you serious? Then open it already. Come on, we're in a hurry. I'm unable to assist you. I lack any kind of lock picking functionality. You'll have to find your own method for picking locks. I'm sure you're smart enough. Yeah, right. In other words, you're basically useless, as always. Try snapping your fingers at the exact moment the locking pin light goes on. What? 
Oh, okay, okay. Snap it right when it's going on the thing. Okay, one more. Haha! <laughs> okay, that's kind of a creative way. Yeah. It works! <laughs> A lullaby? I don't like this. Hell no. Charles, what's on the other side of the door? That's Nora's voice. She's very dangerous. Before the bullshit really start. Hold on. Alright y'all, that was my gameplay of Atomic Heart. I'm actually liking the game. I like how it has like a future aesthetic, but also keeping it like in the 50s in, in a sense. So it was actually pretty cool. I actually enjoyed the game. I will actually, gonna, I'm gonna continue playing it. This was like, I wanted to see if it was actually gonna be worth my time. Cause like I said, I don't really do first person games like that besides Call of Duty. So I was like, let me give this a shot and see if I actually like the shit. But I liked it. It was actually good. So I will be continue playing this. Um, my thoughts. I really think at the beginning, they could have speed that shit up. Like, it was like, okay, we get it. It's like, I know the devs want to kind of show, flex their muscles a little bit about their designs again. I get it. You know, y'all did y'all shit. But it's just like, okay, come on. We in this rowing boat. We just take it all day. Then we, we getting in this car, floating around. It, it just was taking its time to kind of like get to the point. I couldn't like rush through the shit. But I did see like a skip option, but I didn't want to skip because, you know, I don't know if it's y'all first time seeing it too. But uh, yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Share if you care, which I know you do because you're here. So thank y'all so much. Love y'all. Check y'all in the next video. Um, again, this will be coming out, uh, if not tonight or tomorrow, Monday morning. I mean, Monday night, actually. That's what I'm doing. And then it will still be regular streams that will come out as well. So a lot of content coming. So this is the first gameplay recorded. So. Y'all liked it. Check y'all later. Bye.